everybody right back at it again with another video on dead matter today is another day for another update so let's see what they have to say they've been relatively stingy when it comes to the release date but uh, let's see what it says here let's go ahead and start with closed alpha i'm ecstatic to be able to tell you all that the dreaded roadblock has been removed we are now wrapping up the necessary work to finalize the changes we need to make the 14 day countdown will begin toward the end of the next week once we have confirmation from indiegogo of the campaign end date once the countdown has begun we will begin inviting partners to test the closed alpha before we start rolling out our keys to our backers so i'm not sure i quite understand that let me read that again the 14 day countdown will begin toward the end of the next week once we have confirmation from indiegogo of the campaign end date so 14 days after this next week if they actually end the campaign so it's about three weeks is that, is that what i'm to understand so if i'm reading this right then we should see the alpha sometime next month around the 20th i would say i might be reading that wrong if you guys want to correct me go for it i'm not really sure if i quite understood that but uh yeah let's push on here it says here important after the countdown has ended backing through indiegogo will no longer be available those interested in backing and getting access to the closed alpha will still be able to back via and then they show their website here which again i'll take a look at which i should already be in it so i'll receive it through email but if you're someone that wants a chance to actually get into it this is your chance if you were someone that did not get into the indiegogo i would suggest that you look at this website if you really want to and uh yeah i'll have it linked in the description if you want to take a look but yeah continuing on we are also opening up partner applications again interested streamers and content creators can apply contacting one of our community staff via private message after joining our official community discord server which i'm already in applicants are required to have their relevant accounts youtube twitch twitter etc linked to their discord accounts in order to verify their legitimacy we are looking for creators with at least 5k followers or subscribers or outstanding dead matter content i wish ready or not would have done something like that <clears throat> we're looking forward to hearing from you so that's cool i mean i'm someone that has almost 9k subscribers now so i should probably go and apply because i obviously meet that criteria and uh yeah moving on for development it says kaya has been hard at work smashing bugs with the dedicated server systems getting vehicle keys implemented so they work with motors as intended yeah so if you don't remember from previous updates you actually have to find the keys that are laid out in like the general area you have to either find the keys or you can hotwire the car and i believe they said that if you don't want people to actually steal your car then you have to have the keys at least i think that's how it was my memory is a little hazy so i don't quite remember but yeah let's move on here improving the character creation experience and setting up a readme for server owners to assist with server configuration yeah, so in case you know you need to throw someone out because they're being a dingus or something you know i really hope that you can actually just host your own servers instead of just getting like a dedicated server because dedicated servers are cool and all but i just really don't want to buy one i wouldn't mind like a peer-to-peer -peer connection that'd be nice unless you guys want to start donating to the patreon help me fund a server but uh yeah he also implemented the ability to hit and damage the infected with car doors Doors. is like some state of decay shit right here you know it'd actually be kind of cool if they could actually implement upgrading your vehicle like putting a bunch of metal plates on it or having like spikes in front or something you know just do kind of like a mad max sort of deal that'd be kind of cool but anyways drivers beware this will damage your car doors this will damage your doors and potentially shear them off leaving drivers open to attack inside their vehicles so it actually shows what it looks like in third person oh and you can actually see the doors fling off i'm gonna try and play this with sound here Boom! Pretty cool. I want like I want to see like a splat though. I mean, you guys are making a gore system, right? Freaking use it! I want to see. That'd be kind of cool. Anyways, let's move on here. Nomad has polished up the home security system pad, similar to the fire alarms shown off in the previous updates. Players will be able to see the status of the alarm on the pad itself and turn it on and off if they have the code handy. So, are you saying that we can actually find codes? Like somebody like wrote it down on a piece of paper and I could just find it? Or maybe there's a zombie that's like shambling around. It gives me like a mission to like kill him to get the key or something. I mean, there are missions in this game, so they could definitely play with the idea. But anyways, that's kind of cool. Or or is this something that we set up ourselves? I'm not sure. But anyways, let's move on here. It says, he has also begun work on another player-based trap, the lawnmower trap. Oh my God, that looks deadly as hell. It looks like something out of freaking, uh, 
War. What the hell was the name of that game? Dead Rising? Yeah, Dead Rising. <laughs> now, this is some wasteland shit right here. It says here, constructed from salvaged wood, a cannibalized lawnmower engine, and some sharp metal bolted to the top of the shaft. This whirling death trap is a welcome addition to deter unwanted guests. But be careful though, the trap starts immediately when activated. So players will want to be prone starting the engine. Oh my god, so you have the chance to actually kill yourself? <laughs> Well, that's funny. Wonder what other crazy wacky traps there's gonna be. Can't wait to see. Just imagine that, like you created something and you're the victim of your own creation. That's funny. Moving on here. Riz has reworked the baseball bats to a more uniform quality and add more capability for modifications. Note, the gray models in the back of the image are works in progress. Okay. So I'm assuming these three in the front are basically what's in the game right now and these other ones are still being made. Okay. Got some interesting, oh, you see the one with the nails in the back? Pretty cool. Moving on here. It says, Hacks has spent the last week overhauling the first person hands, optimizing the glass materials, and adding a second mode to the shooter's challenge on the shooting range. He has also added weather support and soundscapes on the map. Okay, so we could actually listen to this? Now, that's actually pretty cool. You know what I would hope though is that the rain actually hides a lot of your like sounds. Like you're walking, your gunshots sometimes, I guess. Like you could definitely use the rain to your advantage in like stealth. Like I hope that you're able to do that, right? It would make sense. But anyways, let's move on here. Fear, another of our animators, has completed some new animations for melee weapons. And then it shows Mr. Freeman with the crowbar. Looks like he's slapping a tub of jello or tub of putty or something. And yeah, that's pretty much the update. It was relatively short, but uh, they say that we're definitely going to be seeing something in 14 days. So hopefully we'll get to be able to play this. Uh, I need to go sign up for that uh, partner program, I suppose. Which I'm not even sure. I should probably... <laughs> As of the recording of this video, I am now a partner in the new Discord for content creators, it seems. It was actually relatively simple, but I made a big shtick about it. Although I have not signed an NDA just yet, I don't know if they're going to be handing this out the moment that those things come out. I mean, that's what I'm assuming, right? But uh, yeah, so I got in. So that is the video. I'm going to end it here. If you enjoy the fact that I cover games like Dead Matter, be sure to share the video, like the video, and most importantly, comment down below. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell you never know you might find something that you like on the channel stick around if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really helps and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye